How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am going to be doing something a little bit different. I will be doing a review of all my ice fishing stuff. You guys have been asking, what do I wear? What do I bring ice fishing? And I'm going to go through all of that. First, we are going to be going fishing with my good buddy, Logan Barber. He has been catching some smallmouth bass. That is right. I've caught a few through the ice before and I wanted to go and he was like, hey, come on out. Let's do some smallmouth fishing. So that is what we're gonna be doing. It's a little bit different than what we've been doing, just catching perch and walleye, basically. That's all we've been doing. So I thought I'd switch things up for you guys. But before we get further in today's video, I do wanna say today's video is sponsored by Bucks. Bucks is a hunting company. I know it's not hunting season right now, but they do have amazing apparel right here. It's nice and warm. They even got awesome hats. They got knives for cleaning deer and whatnot. So if that interests any of you guys, all their stuff will be linked down below. Make sure you guys go check them out and you can save yourself money in the description. That being said, we will see you guys when we get on the ice. Well, we finally made it out here to the lake. It is very, very cold outside, but we got two guests with us. Mr. Logan Barber, the one and only. You actually found this spot yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, looking for walleyes. And you stumbled upon a rock pile with some smallies on it. We love that. Forgot my tackle box today, so I'm stealing from layman's. That's all right. <laughs> but we got the live scope. We're gonna get her going here. But we also got another guest over there, Mr. Michael Lusk. You haven't been on the channel before, have you? I don't think so. No, first time on the channel. Hopefully we can get you on some smallies. You're not the biggest ice fisherman I heard. <laughs> no. We're just fishing a big rock pile out in 15 feet of water or so. It's a clear lake, so I actually looked down and we're right on top of a boulder and there's like five or seven smallies down there. So. That is always good to see, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we can find some big ones. Like I said, it's very cold outside, so we're not gonna do any hole hopping. We're just gonna be inside the shack here, get the heater ripping, and uh, get straight to fishing. But I got the 32 inch slap shot from Frostbite connected to straight braid with a little green and pink jig. It's got a little rattles in it. I don't know what Barber's starting off with, but. Ooh, a little tantrum. Oh yeah. Heck yeah, and then Lusk, what are you going with? What it is. Same kind of deal. Yeah. I think it's the same thing Barber had. Look at that. <laughs> Barber got one already. Instantly, eh? Hit it as I was dropping my lure down. That is insane. Lusk, better double up here. This feels nice. I don't have the luck like Barber does. Oh, he popped up. Oh, Barber. <laughs> what is that strap, my dude? I don't know. Dude, there's like 15 of them. I can see. Oh yeah, I'll try and clear out my hole here. I well, we got the live scope. There's Barber. You want to rip your lure? There's Barber's lure right there, up high. We're fishing 14 feet of water, and there is my lure. As you guys can see, it bouncing around down there. And that is a big chungus rock. It's a big boulder down there. But uh, yeah, that's all we're doing. Oh my God. <laughs> this thing is 27, 28. Shut up. Look. <laughs> <laughs> part of my language, but jeez, look at that thing. See that thing? Uh, it's right oh, there. right there. It's back is. <laughs> it's back is the size of my leg. Molly. Coming up. Coming yep, up. Yep, yep, yep. Smoke. Come on. Oh, oh he's gonna crash here. He right likes now. it. There you there go. go. That was sick to watch, dude. Yeah, that's sweet. Not big. Yeah, look at that thing. That was so cool. Bye bye. On the tiniest tantrum I have, it's a little orange, white, and gray and black. Look at the hat barbs. Oh yeah. Smallies oh, for days, boy. <laughs> Clear water. Oh me. yeah. Okay, we can let go now. See you later. That's awesome. God, I wish we had an underwater camera we could throw down there. I know, I had my aqua yet. Sheesh, Barbs, look There's at that thing. Smallies. Saw him right on the bottom. That's a good, that's a good three, four pounder. Yeah. I Might be pushing five. Might be pushing five. Four. That is a good, healthy fish. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's a boy. Awesome. On the tantrum, too. Yeah, let's go. The whole way, followed it up. Ooh, oh, nice one. lusk. That was a different one, but tiny. It's not the big one? No. Red. The, the big one was looking at it and the small one just <laughs> shot at it. Yeah, he's Classic. So oh, got one on me. Oh yeah. Raisin. Oh, you just hit it. Nice, Mike. Nice. What a boy. Ooh, fighter. Smalley. Oh, 
This thing is giving oh. you good head shakes. What is it? I, can't, I have no idea. I'm thinking big smallie. Yeah, me too. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a smallie. I thought it was a lot. <laughs> I just saw it's like oh, back yeah. quarter. It's a nice smallie though. Oh, I can see on live scope. <laughs> just swimming around. That's awesome. That's sweet with that light rod. <laughs> yeah, not sweet talking such a big walleye. <laughs> I can just hear it skipping to the... Oh, there's a huge walleye straight came forward. off. Huge walleye. Oh, he's coming back hard. Whatever you just did, Barbs, he loved it. There's another one off to the little far left. I don't mark the one that you had anymore. It's on. Nice. <laughs> is it big? No. Oh. It's a small eye though. Come on. Oh. You're in for a ride if that Oh my god. Big small eye. You're in for a ride if you catch this. <laughs> oh, oh! I got a big one. That was, oh. a, that was a tight pass. <sighs> I don't care. <laughs> it was Freaking so oh, low. this is a big smolly, dude. Okay, it's not that big, but it's chilling. Pretty oh, big, dude. <laughs> Pretty big, dude. It's not that, it's not that big. big. <laughs> nice, dude. Double. Sam, hold that off. Do it. Right. Look at that thing, dude. Holy cow. Well, here's a beautiful smolly. We're going to get him back in the water. It is a chungus. Oh, my goodness. He barely fit through that hole, dude. <laughs> Look at him just weasel his way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. why'd like you a... say it wasn't that big? <laughs> yeah, because I didn't think it was that big, like bro. four pounder. <laughs> that is a stud right there. Oh, yeah. Let's that go, awesome. buddy. I'm watching pick it up off the bottom. Hell yeah. He can't get down the hole. <laughs> Give him a good push. <laughs> He literally is stuck in the hole. <laughs> there he goes. Let's go, dude. And a boy, There's Barbs. Down the six inch hole. Oh, another smallie. He came out of nowhere. Didn't get the GoPro on fast enough, but it's just a little baby bird. Ooh, nice. Uh, I lost Anders on the board. I'm about to get crushed. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Double for days, boys. For Let's some go. reason, I landed right on top of the rock and I pounded on the rock twice. Just smoked. Oh, big smallie coming your way, Sam. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, I just watched him inhale that dude. <laughs> I just watched him inhale he, that. He, like, barely. He, he sped over Look to you. how, oh, I hooked him in the nostril, dude. It was so <laughs> weird. So weird. He just barely capped it. I was like, what? Did I leave that on there? Look at that. That is a small mouth right there, boy. Oh, oh see you later. I watched him swim, legit, right past mine. <laughs> just <laughs> beeline over to his, stop, and then just go. What? Oh, barbs hooked up. I can just help him. You can just fish. You got the. Is that? It's like black. Is it crappy? It's no, it's gotta be a small. <laughs> It's a burbot. Oh, it's a little smally. It's a little smally. Oh, I thought I had the first walleye of the night on. I wish. Came and crushed it though. Hell yeah, buddy. Nothing hitting the old metal buckshot combo, right? Oh, one just missed it. Oh, I got him, actually. <laughs> <laughs> right as you said that. I think so. I don't know. I couldn't tell. I just saw it disappear. <laughs> it's a little smally. Little guy. Alright, go back, buddy. Well, it has been a while since we last saw you guys. It is now a couple days later, and I've been ice fishing. I've actually gone out the last three days to try and finish this video for you guys, but things go either of two ways. Things either go really well, and I catch limits of fish, or I go out and I don't mark a single fish. Basically, the videos that I caught limits of fish in, I'm making those into separate videos. So if you guys want to watch those, it'll be posted on later this week. Before we get further, I do want to tell you guys something. I don't know if you guys remember, a couple months ago, John and I shot a black duck in North Dakota, which is kind of rare for around here. They're an East Coast bird, so we don't see them very often. And luckily enough, John and I were able to harvest one. Some of you guys were wondering if we got it mounted or not. Well, here's the answer. 
And here she is, the black duck that I got. I originally wanted it flying, but unfortunately the wings were a little busted up, so I had to get it standing. Our buddy Caden Velin from Open Water Taxi down in Sioux Falls actually did this bird for me. He got it done in less than a month. John also got a bird mounted, which I'll show you now. He actually mounted a mallard from that same hunt, so if you guys want to watch that video, it was pretty epic. It was just John and I, and we had like 4,000 mallards dumping in on us at one time. It was pretty sick. Beautiful mallard, nice beautiful fat head on him, and bright orange feet. So John still needs to come up here and grab his bird from me. Other than that though, that's all we got for birds. I really just want to film this for you guys just because a lot of you guys have been wondering what I've been using for my gear, what I use for my shack and boots and whatnot. But we got the boys here. We are going to be frying some fish. Shep has got a bag. We got two bags of fish, perch and crappie. Other than that, I will show you guys my gear right now. I'm going to give you guys a review of what I got. I have a beautiful Mr. Buddy heater to keep us warm. Here's just a classic minnow bucket. You don't need anything fancy for minnows. And then I have the live scope and I have a summit fishing case on there. Huge shout out to them for sending me this awesome case for it. And then I have a FLX 28 Vexlar. I've had the 28 for a while now and I just, no need to get rid of it. It's always handy just to have an extra vex hanging around whether your buddy wants to go and use it or if, say the live scope breaks or it dies or something. I still have an extra thing. Here I just have a K drill on a crappy drill. I do not recommend that drill but it gets the job done. And I'm usually going out with people that have these bad puppies right here. They have the Strike Master Lithium 40s. And then right here I have my rod case. It's just a hard case. I'm pretty rough on my stuff. I like to throw it around and whatnot. And uh, it keeps my rods protected. I have four main rods that I use. They're all from Frostbite. I have the Slap Shot, the Meat Locker, the Drench, and I can't remember. The Royal Flush. That's the other one. They're all perfect rods for jigging. Uh, the drench I mostly like to use for dead stick or for my eye fish prop. Then here I just like to keep my tackle and whatnot in there and then I have my shack. It's a Nanook XL Thermal from Claim I believe. That's what it is. Got two nice seats. The seats are not padded which is kind of unfortunate but it's all right. This is like the best cheap shack I think you could possibly get for your money. And that's just a shack that I use and that I like running. Oh, that's what I use. And then also, speaking of decoys while we're here, I have like four dozen goose decoys, full bodies. If any of you guys want them, DM me on my Instagram. I'll link it down below. If you guys want to buy those, I'll sell them to you. I'll give you a pretty good discount. We can discuss the price and everything and uh, you guys can have them. So, a lot of you guys have been wondering what boots I've been wearing. Well, I've been wearing the Tidewee boots right here. There's 800 grams of thickness so your feet don't get cold. And my feet have not gotten cold all year. They're beautiful. Anyways, the perfect boots. If you guys want to get them, I'll leave their link down below. But we got Mr. Shep. You just bought this pew pew, didn't you? Yeah, Christmas time. What is it? It is a Smith & Wesson. You don't even know what kind of gun you bought? Did you say an AR-14? 15. I know, I'm just messing with you. Oh, no, I'm just it's messing with you. You said it. I was just joking. But, Akin, you also got a new Pew Pew. Yeah. Like, go grab it. I want to see it. But that's all I got for my ice fishing stuff. That's all you really need. I don't really have anything crazy. When you have a good buddy like Peyton or Connor, when they have nice ice castles and rangers that are on tracks, I like to leech off of them. So... Uh, I'll leech off those boys pretty good, but other than that, oh, yeah, hi, hi. There it is. There it is. Wow. What is that? It's your Browning Expo Pro McMillan. 6.5 PRC. What kind of scope you got on there? That looks like... Viper PST Gen 2. 5.5. Wow. That sounds bougie. I don't know anything about rifles, but that, that sounds bougie there, boy. Yeah. Well, we're going to start cooking, and uh, I'm hungry, so we're going to dig in. Nothing like some beer batter, eh, Shep? Gotta love it. Well, we got some fish here. We got the beer batter. This is a big boy, whatever that was. It kind of looks like a crappie, but we throw it in the batter here. <laughs> well, uh, we just got done eating one plate of fish. It was one plate, and now it's all gone. Well, Akin, Akin's actually eating yeah, some right there. Here's the final product. Let me see the inside of it. Meat. Oh. Oh. 
Nice white and flaky. That's how we like it's it. It's so good. Is it, this is your first time ever having beer batter. Yeah. I'll What's your thoughts? Yeah, it's, it's really good. It's good. <laughs> this was a bad batch. This batch got botched. It's still edible. It is. Fine. Dig in there, boyo. Let's get a crunch in there. Cheers. It's warm still. That's very hot. I'm going to give it a second. But what did you think of it, Elder? The, the first, first batch, batch was, was really awesome. good. We housed it. We did. Like Ten seconds, that whole plate was gone. I forgot to pick up the camera, too. So that's a rip in the chat. But it was really, really good. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Something a little bit different. I kind of give you guys a review on all my stuff. That's all I got. All that stuff. I don't have the most expensive stuff. Minus the life scope. The life scope is pretty expensive, I will say. Other than that, though, everything else isn't that expensive for ice fishing. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's a little bit different. Catching those smallmouth is kind of fun, and I kind of enjoyed it. Weirdly enough. So, thank you for watching today's video, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>